Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. And of course, today I am very excited to share with you this Mini Sapporo docking station. We would like to thank Mini Sapporo for sending this one to us so that I can share it with you and help you decide if this docking station fits your requirements or it's something you're going to consider buying, all right? So it's mini, but it's powerful. Jump in and let's get a deep dive on the technical specifications and how you're going to use this device. Well, for me, one of the things that interest me most is the support up to three external monitors plus the device. So that would be four monitors. Anyways, um, I don't want to spoil a lot of things here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the device and I can show you what are the best features that you can get out of this docking station. So this has a metal case, good enough to absorb heat, dissipate the heat here. It also has fins, so that it's going to cool down immediately and uh, ventilation in small holes so that yeah, the heat can disperse faster. Now let's take a look at the front interface here. You have a USB 3.0 Gen 1 where you can plug devices so that you can transfer them faster. So you have two. Then we also have Gen 1 USB 3.0, which is type C, where you can plug type C devices. Then we have also your mic, I mean, no, it's headphones. You can plug that audio. Then we have two USB 2.0 intended for charging. Okay, both of them. All right, so it's only 2.0 good for charging USB devices, okay? Well, of course, at the other side, this is where the display ports are. So first display, display one, tagged as display one is HDMI. So first, and then the second one is a display port. So display number two, you need to have a display port cable so that you can use the display number two, okay? So this is not HDMI, all right? So the third display, it's uh, tagged as display number three, you have HDMI or a display port. So you can just use one, okay? So if you use HDMI, you cannot use the other port. So you can see they are in one box. So in total, external device that is three. Well, if you are plugging this one on a laptop, you have your fourth display as your laptop, and then maybe on a desktop, the normal one that's coming from your video card. So probably you're going to have four already. Okay, and of course for um, laptops that doesn't have LAN ports, well, good for you, you have a LAN port here, which is really good. And then another one is a USB port where you're going to plug your laptop because this is basically morely intended on laptops that have Type-C ports only. So this is where you're going to plug it, which is smart to host. You can see that one, it means to host so that you can have access to all the ports. Okay, and of course, lastly, you have the power port that you need to use this power adapter because it needs power to be able to use this docking station, all right? Well, of course, if you're going to have this one included is a USB Type-C cable that you can plug into your laptop into this device. And if you have a USB port device, then there's a adapter that comes with it, which is a USB um, port going to Type-C port. So don't worry about if you, do, if you have that USB port only. And one of the things that I really like what they did here was they gave you a USB uh, storage device wherein all the drivers that you need is included. And I think manufacturers should do this one instead of giving you CDs because of course we know that compact discs were obsolete already and you wouldn't worry of downloading such drivers from websites and you can use it right away. Okay, so props to Mini Sapporo for adding this USB device. Well, for the sake of this video, I wanna show you how I set it up temporarily, okay? So I have two monitors plus my laptop here which is a little bit old and dirty because it has been stuck for some time. So I've already plugged the docking station. It's already powered. And of course, 
I have to connect this one single-handedly because I'm using the um, camera to shoot it. So I'm going to plug it to the host, a host port going to my laptop. And then I'm going to plug the HDMI cable, display port number one. Okay, so that's the other monitor. And then of course, I'm going to plug the other port. I cannot use the display port because I don't have such adapter or a cable going there. So I'll just use this one. This is the part where I told you, you can only use one port in this display number three. Ah, come on. There you go, locked, all right. Of course, after that, we need to jump into my laptop settings. All right, I only detect one display, so I think the other one is not powered. I'm just trying to look for the power button. Come on, power it up. There's a light indicator. I'm gonna find where is the power button of this. Oh, there you go, found it. And we should be able to have three display. There you go, I have seen something, all right. And you can see on my laptop, I have one, of course, two, not only two, but three. Okay. Um, let's try it out. Okay. Try to drag some, 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 some windows. Camera first. Then you try to see this one. It's flawless going to the other side going to my laptop. There you go. Ha. Isn't that cool? Okay, it's um, blurry, but you know, it's the, the point is we were able to set our screen. Up, this is a 13-in-1 triple display docking station. Okay, mini Supporo. And it has, it is, I mean, 4K. And always remember, this has a gigabit Ethernet port, uh, audio port, USB port, Type-C port, HDMI port, and of course, the display port. Links will be in the description below if you want to check this one out. Amazon affiliate links. All right. So anyways, once again, thank you for watching this video. If you are not yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button so that you can watch future videos that I'm going to make. And of course, thank you for sending this one to us, Mini Sapporo, and supporting this YouTube channel. See you on my next video.